If you want to get better at game playing, watch this guide and I guarantee you'll learn something. And if you don't, write a comment below and tell me why you didn't feel like you learned something. Now this game playing guide is made in collaboration with the Lundorf, a Danish game playing player. Alright, let's get into it. First, I want to talk a little about the runes. So in the runes, you want to go resolve, you want to go grasp, because grasp works fantastic with your Q is actually absolutely broken. And second, you want to have Demolish because you dominate every lane naturally and it's the best one scaling with your champion. Then you go for Bone Plating or Sikkim depending on if you're against a poke champion or if you're against a champion that's going to do multiple attacks on you in a short period of time. And then last but not least, you would generally opt in for Overgrowth because you need that little bit of extra health and gang playing likes health. Now once you're done with the result tree, we're going into Inspiration and we're going to have some lovely cookies most of the games and then we're also going to take the lovely Time Warp Tonic because it makes you faster and having movement speed on a champion that's melee bruiser is always fantastic. Now you can in some games opt in for Magical Footwear which is the boots, so you get them in the 12. However, for most cases you want to go for the other two that I mentioned. Now let's get into Gangpeng's lovely item book because he gets a lot of money and he wants to use them. First and foremost, you want to start the Corrupting Potion if you're in a difficult matchup. And if you're in a really easy matchup, you can opt in for a Sapphire Crystal and then get an early Sheen because that is just the best build pathing towards 24s. Sheen works fantastic with your Q and it gives you a tremendous amount of poke and damage in the early game. Second, you're generally going to get a Fate and then you're going to finish up the 24s very nicely. After Trinity Force messed up tons of damage, you'll want to opt in for Essence Reaver because it synergizes really well with Gangplank right now. Then after Essence Reaver, it becomes a little bit tricky because now you can build Infinity's Edge or Steric Decays, depending on if you want more damage or if you need more survivability. You might be against a team comp that can't ever hit you and can't get to you and you just go Infinity Edge and you blow them up. But it's also the case where you're against a lot of assassins and they're hunting for you. And you need to be, prepare yourself for the hunt and get some more health so you can survive against them. Now once you have decided to buy one of those two items, Essence Reaver or Infinity Search, you're going to buy the other one afterwards. And now you kind of have your full normal build. At this point, you have multiple options. So you can go Guardian Angel, if you want more survivability, perhaps you have those hunting people that just wants to kill you. Or you can go for Phantom Dancer, if you believe you need more crit, more damage and more power. And you feel like you're somewhat safe, you have your Sterex, you're pretty strong, and now you just want to blow things up and kill people. You know the power is in your hand and you gotta choose wisely. Now let's get into Gangplank's abilities because they're super important. So the passive is a little bit of extra damage when you hit people. It's incredibly important to use properly in the laning phase especially. If you manage to use your passive properly at a high up rate keep, then you're going to smash through most lanes and they won't even know what hit them because they're taking so much damage. And this ability is super overpowered and you should really try and abuse it. Now we got his Q ability, Parley. So Gangplank's Q ability is amazing. It gives you more gold than you kill minions, which is pretty awesome, right? You can use that in combination with the E ability, the barrel, and then you can get more ghost from minions. But the main point of Gangplank is to use that Q in combination with Grasp and shoot at your opponents in lane where you have the Grasp proc up and stack your Grasp proc, plus you do more damage and you steal some of the health for yourself, which means your laning phase becomes absolutely disgustingly strong. Next, we got Gangplank's remove Scurvy. It used to be called an orange or something like that. There's a huge meme about it. But anyways, let's get into it. We eat some citrus. It cleanses you. It heals you. And it removes all crown control. So you can use it to get out of market W's, jack stuns, and other scary things that are looking to try and hold you down while they're killing you. Also, one thing to note, it heals you for missing health in combination with normal rates. So what you want to do is you want to try and use this when you're low on health, if you're low on mana, so you can use it conservatively to increase the power of this ability by a little bit. Next up, we got the barrels. This is a huge part of Gangplank. They do a ton of damage. They have armor penetration in them by themselves, and they slow people. This is your bread and butter. There's a lot of combos with the barrels that you need to learn, which you'll learn soon in this guide as well. It's very important that you go into a custom game or practice mode and you practice these barrels. Because if you can't use the barrels properly, well, your gangplank is going to suck and that's something you have to practice if you actually want to play gangplank. Or you might as well pick another champion. Last but not least, we have gangplank's ultimate, Cannon Barrage. It is super broken. You can use it all over the map whenever you want. So this is an ability, if you're winning your lane by yourself without having to use it for your lane, you can use it for other players on the map. So whenever your team is close to getting a kill, or if the jungler is ganking bot lane, for example, because it's a relatively long lane, you can use it to slow the enemy team down while doing magic damage to them. So you're going to get assist for it, you're going to help your team get kills, and overall it's going to be a massive impact on the game. Alright, let's get into the skill out of game playing. So of course, level 1, you want to start with Q, because it works really well with your grasp. Then afterwards, you want to go for E, because then you can start putting down your barrels and start setting up traits in your opponent. And last, you're going to go for W. And it's the same way you skill it to max W, you skill max Q, then you max E, and last you max W. I'd say that Gangplank have two power spikes. So your first power spike is the second you enter your lane. You have Qs which are broken, your passive is broken, you're extremely strong, 
and you have grass, which is just dominating people. So what you want to do is dominate your lane, win it really hard, get a ton of farm, and just keep farming like a maniac. And then helping your team out with the ultimate if you can. And then after that, your second spike is once you get level 13 and you have 20 to 4, maybe an Essence Weaver. At that point, you're going to be an absolute monster once you have those items. And you can try and take control over the game because you're not going to get much more strong in this. This is your power spike and this is where you're going to start dominating the game and taking it over. Now let's get into the combos and since I'm not an avid game plan player, I don't play it 24-7. We have a game plan main helping you guys out with the combos, so what's it over here? Hi guys, I'm Lundorf and I'm going to be teaching you how to play Gangplank. So first off, Gangplank, bread and butter is his barrels. If you want to learn how to play uh, Gangplank, you need to know how to use his barrels and how to use them at their max range. If you don't use them at their max range, you lose a lot of space where you could have gotten uh, more damage out if you reach more people. Therefore, if you want to learn Gangplank, you should go into a practice tool game and learn how uh, far his barrels uh, range is. So his first combo is this. It's the double barrel combo where you put one barrel down, you put another barrel down and you either can shoot it or you can just auto attack it. This is this bread and butter and this is the combo you are going to be using the most. It's the simplest combo and it's uh, the hardest one for the enemies to uh, to um, to deny you from getting your barrels off. His second combo is the triple uh, barrel combo, where you put two barrels down, and you uh, queue the first barrel, and then you instantly put a third barrel all the way, uh, like uh, all the way where the enemy are. So you get a lot of range from this. But it also uses all of his barrels, so GP only has 3 barrels, so you want to use this conservatively and you can't use it all the time. If you are behind the barrel, if you are behind the barrel, you can uh, flash, you can Q, and then you can flash uh, for the last D for the maximum amount of range. Because right here, I won't be able to get a lot of range from uh, my triple barrel combo, but if I flash, I get a, a huge amount of range and I can uh, try to get some enemies off guard with, with this combo. The last combo GP has is the Phantom uh, Barrel combo or the two part combo where you put a barrel down or you have a barrel down, you queue the barrel and you instantly put your E down. You need to instantly put your E down after uh, the Q animation starts. So right when the Q animation starts it's important that you put the barrel down. When you do this, it's also important, you cannot do the uh, combo if you're inside your Q range. You need to walk into the barrel. You need to walk into the barrel and then Q. I mean, just press Q on the barrel and walk into it and then E. Because otherwise you won't be able to pull this off. 